Well, here I am back in Clemson, back in the Clemson Experimental Forest, and beautiful day today. It's October 4th. Hello. And I am, I'm doing good. It's out here. It's beautiful weather today. Just passed a couple of trail runners out running. It's kind of busy out here today. It's because it's so gorgeous. About 70 degrees. Beautiful Carolina blue sky. The forest is green from a little bit of rain we had, but it's not muddy. And uh, I'm on the track now that's about a nine to 10 mile track. And uh, it's just gorgeous. I don't know if I've mentioned it on any of my videos, but my original plan was to hike the Pacific Crest Trail in 2022. But, best laid plans, COVID-19 kind of screwed up 2020, which means a lot of people would be on the trail next year. And then, the massive wildfires down there this year, over there in California and Oregon and Washington, have messed up the trail for probably 2021 at least. I'm thinking it's going to be really crowded in 22. So I've pushed my, my trip, my through hike off to 2023. And I told my wife I can't do that very many more times because my body does have an expiration date on it. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm walking through a little pine tunnel here. Let me switch this around so you can see it the pine trees just all around here makes kind of a little tunnel we're going back to Arkansas in about two weeks permanently we're moving back over there we were we did have a house there and here but we were notified that we don't have to go back to the office here we're going to permanently work from home even after covid they're uh, releasing the lease on the building that we're working out of so as of now i'm a permanent worker from home person so here we are coming to the end of this little section of the trail and uh, the, that road down there is the, the, the uh, logging road. I'll take that to the left, it goes downhill and then I'll take a trail that goes to um, actually this is the one I'm going to take right here. It goes to the logging, this is the R.C. Edwards Trail which heads over to a school, but it's about nine or, about, round trip, it's about 10 miles. So that's my goal today, is to get about 10 miles in. I haven't I didn't walk yesterday, because we uh, drove over here, 12 hours to get over here on Friday, and then yesterday was Saturday, and uh, just kind of unpacked and got stuff ready here. We're getting this house closed down and then we'll be moving back to Arkansas permanently. Um, now on November the 6th, I have plans to go backpacking on the Ozark Highlands Trail. We'll start that trail and get that all finished up before I do my PCT. So, should have some videos of the Ozark Highland Trail pretty soon. So we'll catch you on down the trail. Those of you that live in the upstate, come over and do some day hiking, trail running, uh, mountain biking, and horseback riding in on these trails. Beautiful. I'm going to miss it. Um, don't have a lot of the trails like this where I live over in Arkansas, so I have to drive a little farther to get to a, to a good trail. But 
everything works out. <clears throat> a lot of leaves on the trail and around the water. <clears throat> this is a little bridge and it goes over to a trail called Big Hole. The Big Hole Loop. And it goes that way or the other way. And it comes back down that hill. And then you got the river connector trail that goes that way or back the other way I just came, which is the R.C. Edwards Trail. So I'm going to take this big hole this way and when I first came over here I thought the reason they called this the big hole loop is because it goes along the stream here, beautiful stream, and going over rocks. And there's this big hole here and there's another one up a little farther, but this is kind of a big hole. You could actually go swimming in that. So I thought maybe that was the reason they called it. But I don't think so, because I'm going to show you in a few minutes when we get around the other side of this trail. I will show you why I think it's called the big hole. Look. No water there. Another big hole down there. Water hole. But that's not it. Pretty. You could get right under that rock, that rock ledge on a hot summer day and just chill out. It's pretty back here with the leaves all changing color and yellow falling on the ground sometimes I've been back here in November and it's kind of hard to find the trail because of, because of all the leaves on the ground and we have the this opens up out into a little part of the lake but there's some good fishing right out there Get up here a little farther, I'll show you why I think they call it the big hole trip loop, the big hole loop trail. I'll turn it back on when I get up there. Got a little blow down here across the trail. Big old tree. That's the top of it. That used to be the middle of it. Ooh, look at that. Beast hive. Uh, there we go. So right on the back side of this loop, this big old loop, come around this little bend and look right there. What we got here? We have a big stinking hole. It's about maybe nine or ten feet deep probably. 
10, 11 feet across. Even more, maybe. Maybe 12 feet across, something like that. I think you could, if you fell in, I think you could get out because you could grab a hold of those uh, roots there and sloped over here a little bit on this side. You might be able to get out. It'd be a little struggle to get out if you fell in. But I, I thought, what caused this big hole? Okay, and I thought, okay, maybe there was a big tree here and it fell and it's, or you know, tipped over and its roots came out. So it was a big ball and then it kind of eroded. But look around here. That's, a, that's not a stump, that's a bush. There are no big root balls anywhere around here. There's a little tree over there. but it's still attached to its roots. Nothing, 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 and that's uphill that way, so it wouldn't go that way. He's got this hole, and the sides are, well, you know, almost like, it's almost like this was a tank, you know, like a septic tank or something. It was built a long, long time ago, back in the day, because it's straight down. So, anyway, the mystery of the big hole when you're in the experimental forest in Clemson, don't fall in. But it's fun to come and walk around it. You get a good little exercise on this. It's uh, the whole, this loop, it's probably two and a half to three miles from the parking lot to where the loop starts. And then it's probably one and a half to two miles around the loop. So, you would get six, seven miles if you, maybe eight, if you did everything. I, I don't exactly know. It might be, might be nine, I guess, because I've, I've got nine on my, on my Fitbit occasionally when I took this route. But anyway, it's a good exercise. A lot of uphill, and of course a lot of downhill. So gives you some cardio while you're working out. So. As I was coming down the hill there towards the towards the ridge, uh, <laughs> I tripped over a root, fell flat on my face. Glad I wasn't wearing a big heavy backpack, but kind of wrenched my right shoulder a little bit. Had I, I took a fall on that shoulder maybe a year ago, something like that, displaced it, so it hurt like heck, and it still kind of hurts at night if I sleep on it wrong. I landed right on that stupid shoulder. So, not broke. So, just gotta be careful out here, you know? <laughs> Especially if you're an old fart.